Good morning, peeps. We just woke up, we just got ready, and we're going to breakfast. Peeps. Peeps. <laughs> it is currently almost seven. I can smell pancakes. That's what I think it is anyway. I think it's pancakes. I can smell something yummy. So we're gonna go grab some breakfast, and then we will work out our schedule for the day. We always have a team meeting at eight. Mm. Breakfast at seven, team meeting at eight. And then we'll see what happens from there. So like every morning we have a meeting and we kind of delegate tasks so we just kind of just left it open because it was our first day so Jess is going to help out and number one which is clean kitchen and food uh, and then I'm just going to help out Lorena with birds. So just kind of learning the ropes at the moment. Alright so one of my tasks in the morning uh, is we cleaning the bird cages so we're just here with the McCall's. Uh, and pretty much just in the morning we just have to like kind of sweep and clean up and then I think we do like a bigger clean in the afternoon. Yeah. It's kind of cool, they're so beautiful. task was quite quick in the morning I think it's a bit longer in the afternoon where we have to go and then give it a full-on scrub and then I just ran to Jess at the kitchen might give her a hand Cutting. so uh, the like the animal food chef is currently wo working out like a, the correct kind of recipe for all the animals so she's weighing it every single day and just trying to get like the perfect amount, perfect amount. so there's all different types of fruit uh, and food for the different animals we've got like a Kind of like a recipe, Chart. what they have, it's kind of just Working adjusting out. every single day. Yeah, so, so what she's doing is like, at the end of the day, once they finish eating, she'll bring it back, weigh what's left, see what's left, and then work out what they're eating, what they're not, how much they're eating, stuff like that. Yeah. Currently cutting up all the food for the animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's poked their head through. I think he's a bit hungry. They also spray vitamins on the food as well, just to make sure the animals get the right nutrients. Hi. Hi. These guys are hungry and they're right next to the kitchen. I've never seen sloths move so fast. They are hungry. teenagers so what's it like feeding your first sloth? <laughs> it was cool. Oh it's so juicy that it's You know it's a good meal if you're drooling. <laughs> they love it. Next I'm gonna give them some potato. They get beans, carrot, potato and I think I don't know how many much of it. Hi! Rise and shine. Good morning. You want some? That is breakfast in bed. <laughs> <laughs> So cute! Aww. So two of the monkeys were cheeky and they got out. Um, Which they say isn't too bad because those two are actually going to be released soon. But they're still going to try to get them back into the cages because there's a family of them. And they, they need want to be to released as a family. As a family. So it's good and bad but not the end of the world. I think, I think they'll just watch them for a bit and then try to get them back in. Under the blanket, and he just sees bum. 
These are the ones I just fed. Like, not You're even... You're tired now. Not even two minutes ago. They were so active before, and now they're like... Goodbye. This one's literally curled under the blanket. You pooped? You pooped? Oh, this one's found the scraps. He's still going. He's like, I'm not done here. But give it another minute, and I'm sure he'll be straight back to bed. <laughs> Like little puppy dogs, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Hi, so cute. These guys are nocturnal, so we haven't really seen them before, and they must have got up for breakfast. Oh. So I'm just following Jess around. We're just in the Karaju cage, Kinkajou, Kinkajou. not Karaju, and they're nocturnal, so they're sleeping. They're sleeping. They did come say hello because they thought we had some food, but yeah. but our main job. My main job is like all the sloth cages and the kinkajou cages. Oh, this is they do this to scratch its belly. Oh. oh my gosh, it's loving it. We're currently on flower pot painting duty. We've got a paint, our easel, and a ton of flower pots. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, I'm starting with the small one because a I'm not a good painter. One. I'm gonna do the Aussie flag. I don't Got know any? what I'm gonna do yet. Don't know what you're gonna do. Alright, so we've just finished our morning chores and it's about yeah noon and we're just gonna go have some lunch and then I, we have some similar tasks that we did in the morning to do in the afternoon. Yeah, we all rotate. Yeah. One o'clock, so now everyone's doing their second job for the day. Today, my second job is to sweep out a couple of these cages while the sloths are sleeping, as you can see. As you can see, they are all very sleepy. <laughs> What's your job? So, you can mix up the jobs. You can like do a different one, but I just want to... I like to learn the whole day, so I'm going to redo the birds again, but it's a different task to do. You have to do a bit more of a thorough clean in the afternoon. I need to clean inside this one, but they're all very awake. There's one behind you. Look already? Oh my gosh, he's going to attack. Getting attacked by sloth. As I said, they're a little bit like zombies. Look at him! It's so weird. Oh, they look so weird on the ground. Hello! Uh -huh. It looks so wrong. <laughs> so yeah, at the moment they are planning to build like almost like a dome size area for the birds and they're also going to put... It's going to be much more larger so they can fly around more because like we were saying before, this operation has only really been running since February at this place. Yeah, or? well, because they had to move. So, it's so they didn't much have all... the facilities, but now that um, I guess they've been around for a little bit longer, they're going to build the them. They're going to yeah. build the dome, so then the birds can actually fly around, and then they're going to put some monkeys in there. So they, they're going to put a dome over the trees, so they're going to still be the trees there, right? And the yeah. Owls. Yeah. The owls are going to go in there as well. So once that's built, that'll be great. Yeah. So at the moment. They're just doing what they can at the moment with the with the smaller cages, but there are plans to make bigger cages as well. This one's called Amy, and she yeah. was hit in the face with a machete. Yeah. yellow parrots there afternoon like dinner which is it looks like uh, pawpaw watermelon. Oh I can show them if you want quickly. It's like seeds and nuts and fruit. That looks pretty good. Yeah. For, for dinner. Spoken like a child. <laughs> And I'm gonna love you more 
Fruit in your hair there? Ronco! Hi! <laughs> Did we wake you up? Did we wake you up? <laughs> so yummy dinner for the night. I love the way they do their bananas. Their caramelized bananas. They're delicious. And these have got beans in them. They're really yummy. I don't know what they're called, but they're really good. Mm, it was such a headache. Guys, the worst thing just happened. Um, you might have seen the video a few days ago, but this is it happening now. Our hard drive stopped working, and we were 12 days behind on our vlogs. So 12 Old. days are lost. Uh -huh. On top of that, all our memories, all our photographs, and just little... Like for the past seven months, we're all gone for Pers the moment. We're hoping that when we go, like, leave Costa Rica, we can go find a place that does hard drive recovery, so we can recover all our stuff, because it wasn't all backed up. It's the number one lesson of the story. I mean... Moral of the story is always back up your stuff. We've had like a headache like thinking about it, especially because we had only put out six videos of Alaska when there was 13 and it was like the best trip we've done. Mm. And I like was so excited to share with you guys what else we did. Really sucks, but like there's we've no point lessons, and there's no yeah. point worrying about it. For the moment we just have to like enjoy our time here and then see what happens when we're finished. Like there's no point getting upset about it. What's happened has happened. We've learnt from it and we're going to have to try and hopefully fix the situation once we get out of Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think we're just going to end the vlog now. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yep, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.